Before we start looking at code, we need to understand conceptually that when we look at the horizontal and the vertical of the camera, we can see on the left-hand side that we have horizontal and vertical. These are the two nodes that will be essentially adjusting the rotation of to actually take a look at how do we rotate a camera. Well, so vertical would be the up and down. This is where we can adjust the X angle, the rotation, to adjust the up and down of our camera. And we can see that if I'm kind of looking through the camera this way, and I adjust it by moving my, my mouse up and down, it does exactly that. So, okay, now we understand that our up and down needs to essentially match the X rotation of the V node. And the horizontal node is essentially the exact same thing, but for the Y. So using these two nodes, we can essentially create a, well, 360 degree around our player. And using this, we can maybe not go all the way down because in a lot of games, we're kind of limited, but we can kind of go up and down between wherever we want. So let's take a look at how we can do that in code. The first step is to actually declare our variables. Here we have all the variables that we'll need to actually use to rotate, to have some sensitivity, acceleration, and this is going to be our max degree. Because if you remember, we kind of don't want our vertical degree to go all the way 360. It's kind of going to look weird if we let it. We're going to also load all the nodes that we're going to need to access, and then we're also going to get the camera rotation H and V. Now, note that these are not the current rotations. These are just where we want our rotations to be. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, we can actually get our camera rotation H to be equal to the current rotation of the H pivot, which is, again, just the node that we access of the H. Now, how does this actually get applied when we want to move? Well, we would look here first, but we're actually going to look at the input because that's what we actually move. So. What happens is when we move, we're going to take our event relative, which is our mouse, so our X relative, and attach it to the rotation uh, camera. Now, this is the variable that we've created, and we're going to do this for the V and the H. Now, let's take a look at the V first, because this is where we're going to clamp our number between the two numbers that we created here, the max and the min. So we're going to essentially just clamp it between those two numbers, and that's it. So we're just going to take it and make it equal to it, but we're going to clamp it between those two numbers to make sure we never exceed or go under that number, which in this case is 75 or negative 55. Now that's just to adjust the camera rotation of the V. And we don't need to do anything for the H because it's already a, a correct number and we always want to rotate 360. Now to actually move the rotation of the camera, that's where these two lines come into play. So this is where the actual events happen. This is where we move the cameras. So we're going to take the rotation of the Y and we're going to lerp its current Y. We're basically changing what it's currently at to the camera rotation that we're trying to get to. And that's it. So what does this really mean is in our scene is if I rotate my, well, not rotate, but move my mouse a little bit to the left. Imagine we're literally taking this node and then just moving it to the left, just like that. That is essentially what this line does. And then again, we'll do the exact same thing for the vertical, and that's it. You can see the two lines are essentially the same. We're just doing it for the X and the vertical.